Okay, guys. Today, uh, I'm going to be to tell uh, I'm meeting beavers relocating. So, I think I might try to try to use another strategy if this thing continues because it is bothering me. It is bothering me. Uh, okay, these are my slides. What I wanted to do today, I wanted to, I wanted just to talk about our previous class, the last class that we had in programming, computer programming. But basically my system here is trying to, I think it is trying to play games with me. I don't know, but let me try maybe to see if, if now everything is getting into under control. Let me just open my C++ code blocks. This is what I call code blocks. It, it's it's a it's an alternative of uh, Dev C++. If you are using Dev C++, then you are fine. In my case, I use code blocks. I'm also fine. So you can either choose Dev or code blocks. We say it's open source. You can just download it for free and then start your programming or your coding career. Okay, I was trying here to do to read it through my slides. And then we said okay, let me just go straight to this. I think you remember all of this. That's why I'm just passing by. We said here This is the structure of your C program. It has got this preprocessor, it has got this using namespace, it has got this main function which is of type int which runs each and every function or every every statement that you create in C++. It, for, in order for it to run, the main function to run is here. So if I can create a function here in code blocks, remember that we are not coding here, we are coding in code blocks. And here is just a slide show. So just just make that difference or differentiate between them. That's what basically happens. If I can or, or create any other function here, in order for me to, to run that function, it has to be called in here. Just like what we did when we created it. When we defined those uh, constant variables, we defined them outside here and then we used them inside here. I think you can remember that. Otherwise, this is what we said it's a structure of a C program. So, maybe without any further delay, this is what describes the previous structure. I said, if you do not understand anything, make sure you read this. If you do not understand anything, anything, just send me a text or direct text message so that I can assist in every possible manner. I think that's clear. Also, here we said C out is used to make this output, and then C in, C in is used to take input to the system. I think that's clear. Unless you have a problem, I will hear from you. We said the variables are uh, in fact is a portion of memory in which we stored some determined value. We said if you want to use your name multiple times or any other value, not just your name or any other value in multiple times in your program, you will store it in a variable and then when you use it, just uh, call it. Let me, I, let me just start again, try to create a console application here. Uh, okay. I'm going to name it class maybe class one like this. One like this and then finish. <coughs> Just want to create a variable so that you can now. We said uh, we double click here and then this is the structure for command. This is the variable. So I'm just I want to use a Boolean value. Remember talking about if Boolean values, we said we have true or false. True or false. True false. That's what we said. Pull. We call it pull. And then pull a merit. Merit. But we don't call it like this. Instead, for beginners, let us just call it is merit. Do you recall what we call this? 
this form of naming variables what do we call this in which the first letter is small letter and then the second i mean the first letter of the second word is a capital letter can you recall what what we call it i want you to stop the the, the video now and recall what you call it why i'm uh, i'm trying to assign it here have you remembered we call it camel casing we said we have uh, different types of naming our variables. We can also name them like pull, pull is not married. You also remember this one. We say we, we said we use underscores. We said we do not we do not create variables like this. Is not married. You remember why, 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 what did we say the reason was here? Leaving space in here. We said we do not create variables like this. This one is just wrong. These ones are correct. So I think you could, you could recall that. I wanted to create only one variable here. This is what I wanted to create. We said we are using this. This standard convention is called, uh, we call it camel casing. Camel casing. Do you know uh, this camel? They have humps on their on their backs. That is why we call it camel casing because we also have a, a hump. The, the the first letter of the first word is a small letter, and then the following the following words they are first letters capitalized. That's what we call a camel casing strategy or convention. So I wanted to create this variable, and then this is how we create a variable. We said this is a stored portion in the memory or stored memory location where we store a value which is this value that we are going to be using later like if i can say see out please tell me if you are married And then see okay let me just use the see out because i've just declared it see out see out not count see out is married if i can run this program now maybe let me just build and run it for you to understand what is happening here yes it is running Please tell me if you are married. One. This evaluates to zero. True evaluates to one. Remember talking about binary language of a, of a, of a, of a computer. We said it takes ones or zeros. So now it says zero is equal to false and then one is equal to true. That's what it directly means. So as you can see here, yeah, it, it has given me zero. If I choose true, True, it would say no. This is this is one. I think you understand. That means one is positive or one is true, and then zero is false. That simply means that. I don't know if you are getting it, but if you don't get it, just direct message me. I'm going to try and explain it much more. Otherwise. We have data types. Data types are those which you call this is the pool data type. If you can remember, we also have string. Remember, we also have float. What we call this float, double. This we talked about in our last class. Int. Uh, what else did, did we talk about? Char. This was a mistake. I think you can you can see now. These are the, our main data types in C++. String, float, double, int, char, and pull. Those are our data types. I think you can remember. Read our slides. Constant. We talked about this. We said these are the fixed values. If you want to fix, if you want to create a fixed value, a value that is not going to be changed in the course of the program, 
you remember I was talking about Mlungis. We said Mlungis was a fix. We said a string or something. But then we had to uh, we had to define it here. We define Mlungis like like this. What did you say? String Mlungis. I think we did this and then we what did you say here it should be name or something like this we that's what we do what it and then we we used it I think I think we have to remove this stuff. and then we use it like this define name as in bonus and then it becomes a constant it is fixed it is it is quote not it, it will not not be changed in the cause of the problem. That's what we did with 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 the constants. Otherwise, oh, we said we have also comments. Let me say this is a what do we call this single line comments. And uh, oh, how do we how do we define a multi line? This is how we define a multi line comment. Like this. I don't know if this is comment or comment or cover WM or something. But it should be. Oh, my C doesn't do this thing of spell checking. My code box. But this is how we define a comment and this is how we define a multi line comment. I think we are, we are fine with it. Then otherwise, uh, what is these are operators? If you can see, we have this. What did you say this was? This operator. It is not the equal sign, but it is, it is an assignment operator, right? I think we are fine with it. We are going to go to other operators. Okay, so this is the addition, multiplication, subtraction, division. This operator, the percentage sign. Have you researched about it? Percentage sign. We say this is the this is the modulo operator. It is used to get the remainder when you divide a number I don't even know if this is divide a number by say 2 if I say 5 modulo 2 I am going to get one. That's what we mean by the module operator. If you divide the number by two, this operator gives you the remainder, not not the the, the, the result of division, but it gives you the remainder or the remaining the remaining of it. That's what basically happens with the module operator. This is the module operator. Okay, this is this is an addition. Would you call it a, an adding sign, like plus equals, when you are adding a value. If I have a like, let me say int num number, I make it two, and then when I say number plus, okay, let me say plus equals like this. Or two. This means this basically basically means now number is equal to take note of this number plus two. We are trying to do this thing here. This 
is equal to this. It means that we are changing the value of number and we are assigning it to, we are adding 2 into it, into our previous value. That means now we have number is 4. Number now becomes 4. This is the shorthand of this, basically. We say this is the shorthand of this. I think you, you understand. And all these other operations, this one, they, they work the same as this. It's just that here is minus this times. The star, the star operator in here, we call it an asterisk in programming. We do not call it star, it's an asterisk. It is used for multiplication. You remove, when programming, sometimes you have to change your mindset from your math classes. It is not like you, you are not uh, doing math, but then what happens is the way you think or the way you see things, do not try, just assume them as in like new math class. They are a bit different. Uh, most of the operators or most of other things, like as I said, this is not percentage. It is modular operator. This is not star. It's an asterisk. It's used for multiplication. And uh, what it's this is not an exclamation mark, but is we call it a a not sign. Do you remember when we talked about this? When I when I when I wrote on the board, we said this was not. This was end. This was O. The double ampersand we call this. This is not end. We call it double ampersand. And these are not uh, what you call this. These lines or as they are all they are called O in here. And this is not standing for not. If you want to negate anything, it's a negation operate. If I say this is not equal or what do you just write or just type this. Then we mean that number we said number is equal to four, right? So we are going to say number is not equal to five or maybe five this is true right you said because number now is four now number is, is four so this is this day this this now becomes this now becomes true right i think you understand number is not equal to five so the note means that just that that's just it i think you understand you can take a recap from what we started here, from where we began, then try to see. I said when we, when you want to be more successful, maybe more productive with your coding, you need to write comments. Write comments. Just do write comments a lot when coding. Up until you understand what you are doing. Basic input to output, you say this is what we call C out and C in. I think you will remember that. See out and see. So <clears throat> in the excuse me. With the out with the input, we said in order for you to be able to include the maybe a sentence in your in your input. Remember when we, we, we made an example of of you telling me or maybe you explaining what why did you come to class? You said we said we, we are going to be using the get line like this and you said get line takes in c in and then the reason if you remember we say we said we are going to declare a reason here we are going to say string reason and then say the reason we initialize it to is because i was not awake this is what we said what the reason was and then here is get time to take in the reason or you can when you when you want the oh, let me just comment this out how do we comment this in uh, in uh, c plus plus okay <coughs> excuse me what is happening here because I want to comment this out in this code blocks. If I was using, what do you say? If I was using VS Code, I would have done it in shortcuts. But then, 
I don't understand what's happening. Because I could be able to comment this like clicking here. But then it's now giving me what what anyways. Let me just did you see what I did? I use control Z to undo everything that I did. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to introduce my multi-line comment here, just like this. If you can remember, we said the multi-line comment is this, and then here I'm just going to close it. But now it's not going to close because I have cl closed other comments in here. In so I need to start a new multi-line comment here. Let me just open this one. And then it is closing here. So I wanted to show you or to demonstrate the use of get line. So we said uh, see out give me reason of not coming to class. It means I cannot write coming. Okay, fine. I don't care about it. Then now we say see in. No, we do not use C in here. But what we do, we are going to use get line because we want to take a full sentence, not just one word. C in is good for taking like single words. So we are going to use get line here to take a full sentence. We said get line is a function, that is why we include the. What is this? Do you remember what we called this? We call them brackets. So we said C in. And then here we are going to have a reason. Just like that. And then here we can just introduce reason or maybe declare reason as a variable reason. But we not we don't have to initialize it because we are going to be taking it from the use. So we don't have to be initializing. So now that we have done this, we can just run the program if everything is okay. This should be okay. Okay. It is now reason. As you can see here, it is now running. Give me a reason of not coming to class. Then I can just say here, because I was not awake yet. As you can see, everything is working fine. So now we can use the 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 the, the, the reason, or maybe the user response like this. See out. Then what I can do. I can use it here. Your reason was reason just like this. You can you're going to see what is going to happen. I forgot my shortcut here. Please bear with me. I will record it maybe later because I don't like using this thing like clicking on the mouse, clicking the mouse, just like using the shortcut. Then as it be because I was in London. Here, your reason was because I was in London. So you understand why why do we use the get line? It is just like the C in just that the get line takes more takes a sentence or more be more text than the C in. I think that's fine. So anything else? Okay, we have exercises here. I said you are going to design a restaurant billing system. Basically, what you are doing, you are taking the customer details, you are storing them. Uh, if you can recall, numbers of do do that, and we said she was going to add the things she has to add. Maybe you are going. She is going to. She is going to recall what we said because I think you are writing down what we are talking about in class. So we said your program should be able to print out full details of the customer, what the customer ordered, with the total amount spent. I mean, here your program will be like. Let me just introduce a multi-line comment. Here. A multi-line comment here. Yo. Program will be able to be like our our customer boot. Okay, not just our customer part. Let me say like a receipt program. You can you can you can even introduce the name of the 
the company like spa and then maybe if we to style it here like a bit and then here you can just say good spot let me say it's bread and then here the bread was uh let me say 56 rand and then we have sugar let me say 56 rand in negative that, that, that's negative 44 and right 44 and do you understand what i mean when i say negative 44 then uh, say total total that's 100 i think now you understand what i, what I meant when i said negative 44 then you say 10 that cash let me say 10 that cash then the customer gave us or has given us 150 a ah, bomb 150 then what what you're going to show is that change when you say 150 minus like 100 rand what do you get maybe i'll be getting a 50 rand this is what i want your program to be able to do if your program then does this maybe the customer has bought this times two maybe this was times three your program should be able to tell us that okay the customer bought three of the sugars which each one has uh is 44 and each and then he bought two of the bread and then which each one is two is 56 and each and then be able to calculate based on this telling us that, okay this one this is equal to 44 times 3 what is 44 times 3 it's anything times 3 uh, i don't know it's 100 and something you are going to make your calculations that's not 180 but i'm trying to make it 56 that's 102 is it 102 oh 112 I don't recall 44 times 3, 44 times 2, maybe something like uh, 88, and then 18, 44. That's not 180, but it's like uh, something like 100 and, 131, 113, something like this. So, this was going to be our result, meaning that this was going to be out because this will be times 3. I think now you understand what you can you can do you can just put it on over here times two like this and then this tends to be out and this if this is times three this will also be out then here you're going to say times three like this and now you have 112 and 113 if the total here will be what is 112 and 113 should it be something like uh, uh should be something like uh, five two two something like this and then the the what the cut the tendered cash here should be more than this two two five right the tendered cash here should be two three yeah two eight and then the 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 change then now becomes five five. I think you understand what I mean. If this is times two, this is the price. If this is times one, the price we said it's, it's uh, fifty six rand. Then. Otherwise, thank you.